So here we go. Happy Father's Day, everyone. This is our annual Father's Day shoe shine video. I've got, of course, none other than Nathaniel Allison with us. Nathaniel, can you say hello? Hello. And what do we say today? Happy Father's Day? Yeah, Happy Father's Day. So it's not Father's Day yet, but we're filming this ahead of time. So today is Happy Father's Day. What do you say? Happy Father's Day. To, to everyone. Yes, so here we are. This is, uh, Nathaniel and I were just going over the videos. We've got them all up on YouTube. Uh, we're going to link to every single year in the description of this video. Uh, hard to believe, but we've been doing this since what, 2017? Yes. Which would make this our sixth year. Yes. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So happy Father's Day uh, to everyone out there. And uh, this is one of the things I look forward to here at Kirby Allison. Of course, as everyone knows, quality craftsmanship and tradition are the core values of this channel. And on Father's Day, we like to celebrate that value of tradition. The tradition of passing things on from father to son as something that we all here at this channel, of course, share in common and hold dear. And so one of the things that I look forward to every year is this Father's Day shoe shine. We've got six of them under our belt. Uh, and I look forward to the day, Nathaniel, where who knows, maybe we'll have 10, 11, 12 of these things. What do you think about that? Okay. Well, we'll have done it 10 or 11, 12 times. Well, that, would, that would be amazing. That would be amazing, that's right. So uh, anyway, so happy Father's Day uh, to all of the fathers out there. So this Father's Day, let's celebrate that tradition of passing things on from father to son. So Nathaniel, we're gonna get started shining a pair of shoes. Um, First off, what are you wearing today? It's a beautiful, nice white shirt. Yes, with um, some trousers, but I couldn't find my suit jacket, so I had to stick with this. Just with that, but I think it's a pretty smart shirt. Who made that for you, you remember? Davidge. Davidge. Yeah, davidge.com. Does all of your school shirts, right? So this is actually- Most of them. Most of them. Yeah, most of the nice ones. Most of the nice ones. Yeah. Um, and then what are you shining today? So these shoes have certainly seen a lot of use out on the playground, haven't they? Yes, I'm shining these um, shoes that for school. And today our main point is to show you that these torn shoes can actually turn into some nice shoes. So we're just gonna show you how we turn them into not that. Yeah, so we've got some new products that we're gonna be introducing. You know, as we progress, we're gonna be getting a little bit more advanced. Uh, and so one of the products that's new for this video is going to be the Saphir Juvicure, which is a recoloring and kind of resurfacing product that Saphir has. It's a pigment and resin based recolorant. It's very similar to the Saphir, um, what is it, the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream, except that it's slightly thinner and appropriate for larger surface areas. So Nathaniel, we're gonna use this to kind of recolor uh, this area of the front toes. And you can actually apply this carefully with your finger is how we're gonna do that. I wouldn't use the chamois. I would use your finger. You're going to use the chamois. I think it would be better with your finger, but as you know, what would I know? What do I know? A lot. A lot. <laughs> and then I've got a pair of my um, bespoke Cleverly Baron Dorides. These are a black pigskin, one of my favorite pairs of shoes. Uh, and this is a great example of how to answer the question of when should you shine a pair of shoes? We get this question quite often. And we're going to, excuse me? Yeah, you can start. Yeah, not too much, less is more here. Yeah, so smooth it because we're gonna need to allow it to dry. Yeah, you see how that, so what's nice about the Saphir Juvicure is it is uh, relatively permanent uh, and does a good job at so actually resurfacing. I'm basically gonna need to do the whole shoe. Nope, nope, not the whole shoe. You don't wanna do the whole shoe. You just wanna do the discolored portion. I don't want to get too much because yeah, less is not here. Let me help. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. Too much. I'm always a little bit nervous doing this. Uh, that's fine. Just rub it in. That's okay. You got the other shoe. Yep. I'll do this. That's yeah. No, no, no. It'll dry. Just rub it in carefully. Careful, careful. Okay. Back to these shoes. So this answers the question or at least illustrates the answer, which is how often should I shine my shoes? Nathaniel, do you know the answer to that question? Let's see if you can get that answer correct. How often should someone shine a pair of shoes? Once every year? Uh, it's a trick question. Oh, whenever you want. Whenever you want, or whenever the shoes look like they need to be shined, right? So this is a great example. I mean, do they need to be shined? Uh, you know, they look like they do, so we're gonna shine them. So first, I'm going to 
buff them using a horsehair brush and then apply a little bit of cream and then wax polish. How's that coming? Yeah, so give that a few seconds to dry. Um, I don't even think you need to buff it. Might as well, there you go. You can buff it, buff it, see what happens. And we're probably gonna need to get you a new pair of shoes for school next year. What do you think? See, this one turned out way better. Yeah. You might wanna do a little bit more. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cream polish on top of it, right? So this is meant to just serve as that foundation. You want me to show you how to wrap those on your fingers? Yeah, I, I think I know how to. You need more. Hold on, up, up, hold on, let me show you. Okay, up, right. Then you're gonna twist gonna... it around. Isn't that just there? I like that. Okay, don't use too much of that, just a little bit. All we wanna do is recolor. Yeah, there you go. So Nathaniel, do you know what you're gonna give me for Father's Day this year yet? Nope. Nope. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Can't tell me. Can't tell me. Yeah. All right, so I'm using a little bit of Pomodoro Cream Polish. This stuff is exceptional for recoloring, conditioning, and providing a nice soft shine. Uh, it's also a great product for edges and heels. Yes, yeah, so you can. I'm going to take a white spot. White spot, yeah. Okay, we can reuse those spots. What I like about the Sphere Pomodoro Cream Polish is it's also an exceptional edge dressing. Ew. Okay, too much. I so, didn't know it was so soft, like squishy. Yeah. I thought it was like hard, like your other. So just to dab it on there and spread it around as evenly as possible. Put some on the other shoe. Less is more, but these refinements hopefully come with age. So Nathaniel, where did we go this weekend? We went to Chicago. And how was it? Great. We went to the, oh my gosh, this is turning out really well. Really well? well really good. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, you were right, I was just making sure I heard you correctly. Okay, less is more, right? Just a little bit, you know? Okay, this shoe is really coming back together. This thing's really nice. And then we gotta let it dry. Yeah, let so it dry. We'll pause the video. So, well, you know, you can work on the other shoe. Well, while it dries. Yeah. But then once we're done with the other shoe, we kind of need to pause. I'm gonna do something kind of special. Oh, yeah? So you to be careful with the polish, just not try to get it anywhere. Unlace them. Ooh, wow. And then I'm gonna do it in there. Okay, taking it to the next level, unlacing your shoes. Do you think you're gonna be able to relace them? Yeah, it's not that hard. It's getting easier with age, I suppose. Okay, now let's get in here. So Nathaniel, you were doing some work out in the, in the warehouse for the family today, weren't you? You want to tell everyone on the video what you were doing? My specialty is doing deer bones. So if you order a deer bone, that's probably me who vacuum sealed it. Yep, we vacuum seal, seal the deer bones. Why? So that they don't dry out. So that they don't dry out. That's right. This is pretty uh, gutsy, shining a pair of black shoes with a white shirt. Do you think you're going to be able to do it without getting any polish on your shirt? As long as I don't touch my shirt, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. Okay. I need to wash my hands. Well, I didn't actually think ahead and bring you a towel if you need it. A little napkin. If you need it yet, maybe in a moment. Okay, I'm going to buff these. So you watched some of those older shoeshine videos. What'd you think? What'd you think of uh, what four-year-old Nathaniel? Three-year-old Nathaniel. How old were you in that first one? 2017? I was five. You were born in 2012, am I? It's hard to beat. The math doesn't add up. Try putting your hand inside. 
Yeah, put a little bit of tissue paper in your shoe to make it easier to buff since you don't have shoe trees. Like this. I don't think so. How buff Did you buff both of them? Yeah. Okay, why don't you put, I mean, it really looks better on the front, right? Still a little bit stamp. Why don't you try to put some wax polish on it? Do you want to try to put some polish to elevate the shine? No, yes. What do you think? We're shining shoes, so we need a... Yeah, the wax is the good stuff, right? You just put it at the tip, right? Well... Or do you want me to put it everywhere? You know, put it everywhere. I mean, you can do one coat of a wax polish to the entire shoe. It's so... Don't rush, don't rush. Be patient, enjoy the process, right? Look, a little bit of wax goes a long way. So Nintendo, do you watch any of our videos on YouTube? Maybe. Maybe, which one? Have you watched any videos lately? Yes. Which one? What was it about? Well, you went to the, the, the castle. The castle? And you were shooting birds. Oh, really? That one, I forgot the name of it. Uh, you Scotland. went to Scotland. That's right. What did you think of that video? It was nice. Yeah, what would you like? You used it? your drone. That's um, right. You want to learn how to fly the drone? Yes. You just need to buy me my own drone. Let me fly it for fun. Okay, a little bit of wax polish on the heels. Next up, this I'm one. Done. Yes. Hold on, did you apply it? Yes. Right? Okay, did you buff it yet? Nope. Okay. You're not done till you buff. How are you doing with the polish? Good. Well, if Nathaniel can polish shoes, well, you may have gotten some on your shirt, so it's a bad example. Oh. <laughs> but we were expecting that to happen. See how I'm using the entire length of the brush? I kind of look. I'm not going like this, like that, yeah. I'm not pressing down too hard because otherwise it doesn't buff it to a shine. I still need a little bit more work, let's see. Did this one go to, did you put a wax on both of those? Yeah. See, look, the more you buff, don't these look better? Just a little bit of work. Maybe I didn't put enough. It's not. It's not. Less is more. Really. Of course, you know, this is not exactly a high quality pair of shoes. So you might need to get a little more. You want me to help you a little bit? Sure. Right, let's see what we do. We're gonna try something. We'll see what what happens. So next, let's put a little bit of mirror gloss on these shoes. Yeah. So the mirror gloss is a product that is a very hard wax that we are going to use to try to elevate this shine in the front. Now a pair of shoes like this, we're never gonna be able to get a mirror shine on because they just don't have the structure, right? They're too soft. But let's see if we can just get a little bit more of a shine up there. Those were your shoes from several years ago. We shined those on one of the videos, right? Unfortunately, this is a great illustration of why you don't invest in expensive footwear for children because you've since grown out of those. They're really nice. Well, you remember those were handmade for you? Yes, by one of your shoemakers. By Eric? Flash friend. Mm -hmm. um, what do we do next? 
Well, let's let that dry. We want to see if we can get a little bit more of a shine. Do you want to try to lace your shoes? You think that's something you can do? Sure. Okay, can you tie them? Yeah. What type of knot do you tie with? I don't know. The knot you taught me to tie with. The Parisian knot, right? That your friend taught you, I believe. Yep. Okay, these are coming along. Oh, I gotta make a thing. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna redo this. So do you think we bring Nico in next year? Yeah. Let him shine some shoes with us as well? Uh, what do you think? Are you gonna teach him everything I've taught you? Once you really get this down, are you gonna shine your shoes for me? I'll pay you a quarter. Yeah, for a quarter? No. No? No. That's the going rate. A quarter. Yeah, a pair. Not for each shoe, for, for two shoes. No, 25 cents, two shoes. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That's the worst deal I've ever had. What do you think was appropriate? Look at these, wow. So what do you think of these? They look better now? Yes. Yeah, I think they look really good. Could use a little more mirror glass. We could take it to mirror shine. Okay, time, right. let's see it. All right, instruction. How do we do this? You're doing this very quickly. Because I've had practice, I don't even have to look anymore. Okay, there we go. Does that ever come untied? No. No? Well, make sometimes. So let's because just... if the thing's on the ground, look, and someone else steps on it, it comes. Okay. So we just need that final buff. You know what I have to say? That's really coming together. That's a little bit of a shine. Look at those two. Oh, what do you think? This one's better than that one. Well, because I haven't buffed this one yet. So I would say that's a pretty good before and after. Right? Now what's nice about the Juvicure is that you can shine over it, right? So the Juvicure is just gonna recolor. It's got that pigment and that I resin. You could turn. And then you put a cream and a wax polish on it. And look, you don't even know that those shoes, I mean, I have to say, I'm more impressed with your shoes than I am mine. I, I, mean, we I, can't, I can't even notice that on this one that there was, it was a little yeah. messed up before. Yeah, look at that. I've got my shoes, what do you think? I think you probably did a better job than me. Yes. You guess. But you have more practice. Okay, well I've got five more pairs but, of shoes. But you can mine try. is my, I've I got did five a, more pairs for you. But I did a better job because this was all turn torn up at first and mm -hmm. yours was just not shiny. So I fixed the torn up yeah. part. So Okay. Well now there's no excuse. If I see your shoes like that, you know how to fix them. Yep. Right? Okay, well where should everyone get their shoe polish? Kirby Allison. Kirby Allison. No. What? Dot com. Dot com, that's right. And where does all that money go? Help send you to school. And helps our business. Yep, that's right. And helps our summer, everything. But you are only 50% of the family. That's right. My my mom's the other 50%. That's right. What's her business? Uh, Trusted Lab. Yeah. What's that about? CBD. Well, tell them, not me. Well, it's a CBD company based in Dallas, Texas. So thank you to everyone that's watched this video. If you've enjoyed this, give us the thumbs up and make sure you hit that red subscribe, subscribe button. button. Uh, and if you haven't had an opportunity to visit KirbyAllison.com, please take a moment to do so. Of course, it's one of the best ways to support the work that we do here on this YouTube channel. And on KirbyAllison.com, you'll find the largest collection of luxury craftsmanship, you know, garment care and shoe care accessories in the world as well as other great clothing accessories like and ties and socks. what else and other great clothing accessories for the well-dressed and of course i'm kirby allison and this is nathaniel allison and we love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality craftsmanship, craftsmanship tradition. and tradition thanks for watching and happy father's day